they're actually giving away an Usyk signed glove. Jump onto the Boxing King Media Instagram page. You'll see a post with the thumbnail of Johnny Nelson and Dominic Ingle pinned to the top. Just click on that post, the instructions on how to get yourself in the draw are on there. There's only about 100 people in the draw at the minute, so you've got a good chance of winning. Boxing King Media, powered by BYD. We are at Wembley, uh, London, Ishmael Davis bit of a wild situation um i'll go back to friday you know we exchanged some text messages and you was in sheffield sparring Sheffield thompson i was like you know let me know when you're next in sheffield we'll do something and he was like oh you know come down to leeds and i was like i'm going to be in london and i think you replied back to me saying have a good week it should be fun three days later you're here yeah i know man it's crazy oh yeah it's crazy man um strange things happen in life and we're here ready to stop josh kelly it's, it's it is mad like i keep thinking about your journey in boxing and life and and everything like nothing seems to surprise me you must have done something good because i get the feeling somebody out there is watching over you and keeps gifting you with good things yeah definitely definitely man i just try to be a good person and clean-hearted and think good things happen man well, there, there is a saying, you know, good things do happen to good people. So, you know, if people want to watch the last interview we did, you talked about uh, your, your background and your history quite extensively. And I'll put the link up in the comments. So it's definitely worth a watch so people can try and understand your journey to this point. But uh, it kind of shows, you know, some of the things that reflect back, back on that. You know, you said things like, you know, you used to be, uh, you used to think you was a gangster when you was young. Uh, you was trying to impress people, but then you also wanted to change your life and you wanted to be an inspiration to people that also want to change their lives what well, what better way of showing it yeah this, this is what i want to be a good role model in it like we all know like um you can sometimes go down the wrong path but life can change and i'm proof of that so yeah that's what i do i push a push a good good message uh, where's your head even at because one minute you know your name's up there for mandatory title fights at english title level then there's talk of potentially you fighting for a British title, then you're fighting this Lima guy who was a big puncher, and then wham, yeah, you're fighting on the Joshua Dubois on the card. Where, where's your head at? Listen, I just roll with the punches, man. Life's like a roller coaster, it's up and down. So, yeah, like you said, I did uh, final eliminator for British, then I get made mandatory for the English. It just didn't make no sense. So, you just gotta roll with the punches and be ready at all times, and this is what I've done. 24th of June 2023, Lester Espino at the Leeds Banqueting Suite. Literally 14, 15 months later, Wembley Stadium. I oh, know, it's mad, isn't it? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> and you know what it is? That fight was the fight where I, I thought, like, yo, I'm ready now, you know, to, to, to move up. And um, now I'm fighting Josh Kelly. Uh, do you remember anything about the uh, Leicester's Pino fight at, at, at that banqueting suite? Because it's what, like, me, 1,500, 2,000 people can get in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember it, man. I remember he punched hard. And, um, yeah, I just, I just boxed well. Boxed proper good against him. And then it ended up stopping him. It was a good, good fight. Your life changed from there. You obviously you hooked up with Sonny Edwards, who's been like a, a big uh, uh, part of your journey in the last year or so, and then obviously Lee Eaton as well. Uh, and then together you guys have got this deal with Matchroom, and then next thing you know you, you're fighting on this Wembley card. Um, so that initial phone call, I know I've heard the story where you, know, you woke up to loads of missed calls. He was watching the Canelo fight. Um, so j just tell me, like, who did you ring first? As soon as you, you got told that you've got you've got the uh, Josh Kelly fight, who did you ring or who did you want to tell? Uh, my dad and my uncle, we speak literally every night. So I rang them too, and they. What did you tell you? They were like, "Just wait." Till it's, well, obviously, my uncle, he's like, "He's you're gonna get it." Because obviously, at first, it was just like you might be fighting him. Um, we'll see and wait for the contract. Obviously, until the contract signed, it's you know boxing so up and down. So I was just humble in it and just waited for the contract to get. Obviously, I signed the contract and then I knew it was real. They was excited. Everyone's excited, man. You know, I had the pleasure of sitting next to your dad watching you fight uh, in Manchester. Your dad's a proper character. Uh, I'm just curious, what 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 was his response? What did he say? Um, He's a proper Jamaican old school guy yeah, as well. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I was speaking to my uncle as well, and we were talking about my dad. It's my dad's brother. Yeah. Um, I'm always just saying he's just proper ghetto, man. <laughs> he's just ghetto. But... Um, 
yeah, he's buzzing, man. He's happy. He's, he's so happy about where I am now. Um, and obviously, he knows where I was. And he's just, he's just over the moon. It's obviously not just about capturing the the fight you know the, the you're here to win uh, obviously you're not here to take part because that's the mentality you've got so you've got the challenge of josh kelly um hardest fight of your career yeah definitely gonna be because he's the best boxer i've faced so gonna be challenges isn't it but this is what boxing's about you gotta overcome the challenges so i'm i'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what he brings really there's only one style that's beaten Josh Kelly, and that was David Avenesian. Um, you box nothing like David Avenesian. Um, how do you kind of, what are you thinking, man? How do you kind of crack that puzzle of, of Josh Kelly's uh, like incredible skills and defence? Um, I can adjust. So if I want to fight like David Avenesian, I could actually fight like him. But I don't think that's the way to beat Josh now, as he's got better. He has got a bit better since then, so we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see. Uh, is there any? Have you guys ever met, met each other before? I know you guys. I saw you both walk past each other today and size each other up. Have you seen him? Met him before? Um, I've met him once in what show was it? Might be in a Manchester show, you know. And um, he just come up to me and said, "You're right, Ishmael." So obviously he knew who I was, and I just said, "You're right." But he's a polite. He's not. He's not a bad guy, and he's no bad blood. When I see him, it's respect, like today. Um, I've already seen him once before, then I see him today. And he actually came up to me and said, yo, thanks for taking the fight. So, no bad blood. Just got to get in there and get it cracking. You know, one of the things you told me last time was, you know, you've not forgotten your roots and you still speak to people from your background, you know, whenever you can. And I've just walked in and your phone's ringing, you've got people ringing you up with game plans. How many people have rang you up with game plans in the last 24 hours? <laughs> Everyone's got a game plan. <laughs> Everyone's got a game plan, but no one's getting in there, innit? So you just got to listen to your coach and um, try to do what what's needed. You've not had time to sort your kit out. I'm guessing this is the, the tracksuit from the last fight week, was it? So it's a bit annoying, I bet. And I know you like to look good as well. You know, try different stuff. Do you know what it is? This one is a brand new one. Okay. Cause I opened this today because I didn't add some in the box that I left from last time. So I'm, I've still got... There's a couple more added sponsors, but these are still the same sponsors, so it's not that bad. My my track suits come probably like Wednesday, Thursday, so I'll be I'll be looking nice um, for the fight night and weighing and stuff. What about your trunks? Are you gonna get? Are you managed to get a new pay? You got enough time to sort one out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, shout out Susie Wong. Shout out Susie Wong. She's she's on it. Okay. Um, I was gonna ask you. With regards to the main event, uh, you will have been watching as a fan, probably looking forward to watching it as a fan. Uh, what, what, you, what are you thinking? Who you got that down as a favourite? I'm an AJ fan, is it? I haven't met AJ yet, but I'm sure I'll be meeting him this week. But I'm an AJ fan, um, but I rate Daniel Dubois as well because of his journey and his mindset and stuff. And he's overcome some obstacles and stuck in and got to Wembley now, so... I rate him, um, but yeah, I'm an AJ fan, so I'm going with AJ. I've got a video of AJ talking a little bit about you and uh, uh, fighting Josh Kelly with Sonny, actually. Uh, earlier today, that he was just Sonny was telling him that he got his fighter on the card, etc. Uh, so yeah, um, any last words, uh, Ish, to your fans and uh, people that are going to be looking forward to watching you from, you know, not just where you're living now and people from back in the day that who probably said you weren't going to do this and you yeah, yeah, yeah. and obviously you got to this moment. Um, just tune in, man. I'm looking forward to shocking everyone and to showing my skills, man, and showing what I'm made of. That reminds me, actually. I overheard a story. Um, I think you shared it in one of the interviews today where, you know, when you was inside, somebody, you told him that you was going to be a boxer, you was going to be on TV. I don't know if you want to finish it. How did that story go? Um, I was talking about that today. So it was one of the... One of the screws, if you say, but he, he controlled the kitchen, and uh, I used to work on, I used to work cooking food for the, for the screws, and you get like nice food down there, and you get to cook your own food. But um, I said to him, when I get out, I'm done with this life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a boxer. It's called Stephen P. His name is, and he goes, No, you know, I'll see you soon. You'll be back in. You'll be back in. I was like, All right, what? You're gonna see me on TV. You get me? So yeah, it's good to be here, man. It's good. He, I bet he sees me. He probably will be seeing me. 
um, on Saturday. So yeah, it's, it's a nice feeling. Mr. Screw Stephen, he proved you wrong. Um, Ishmael Davis, uh, all the best Saturday night. You know, may the best man win. It should be a great fight. And uh, thank you for your time.